So I'm a bit of a history buff and uh, I was looking online, I was watching some videos online and I seen uh, something that was said by a politician approximately two or three years ago, well two years ago, and basically there were individuals who were um, in a state of protest and they were they were called um, the fringe, the fringe, they were a minority, the, the fringe minority. and. That was that was meant to be that those people, um, their their ideas or their beliefs or what they were standing up for was just it was just not important. It was not important because there wasn't enough of them and there wasn't um, enough people stepping up to the plate that believed in that. So they were called the fringe. They were people on the outside of what uh, more um, more of the population believed. So they were the fringe. They were on the outside of that belief system. And so I kind of thought, you know, I'm a history buff. So I had been watching a lot of um, videos about the wars, the world wars and stuff. And I'm really into that. I'm really interested in that. And I remember watching a video not very long prior to this happening. That was, um, I think it was on the learning channel <laughs> that I watched it. And it was, it, it rang a bell with me and I was thinking, damn, where have I heard that? I've heard that before, the fringe minority and that they didn't matter. And I was looking back and I was looking and it was Goring, Goring. Now he was a, a Nazi. He joined the Nazi party, right? And he was, they said, basically like second, second uh, in command in the Nazi party. I think, I think that's what they said. Anyhow, it was, it was ringing a bell with me and I was thinking, where the hell have I heard that? And I looked it up. Because that's what you do when you want to know. You look it up. And guess who said that? Gory said that. And so I just, I had to um, save it. And, you know, I basically had to save it. And I had to put it, put it away so I could find it easily. And so I went back to watch it. And I remember seeing it on the movie. There was a bunch of Germans that were uprising against the Nazi party where, you know, they didn't completely agree. Like, you know, it's the same thing as, as in any country you're in. You don't necessarily agree with the, the party in power. You might agree with some of their ideologies, but maybe you don't agree with all of them. And that's what was taking place. There was an uprising where there were some Germans that didn't agree with the Nazism or didn't agree with the Nazi party, didn't agree with Goring. And so they kind of like, they protested and they were, uh, like, I don't know if they were killed. I don't know if they were just ignored, but Goring basically said that they were the fringe, that they just, they were never mind. They, they didn't matter, right? Their ideology, their belief didn't matter. So I want to read, to read to you what I found online today when I was researching it. I, I just, uh, <laughs> I can't help it, I'm a history buff. Okay, so listen. So the Nuremberg Diary, okay, by Gustav uh, Gilbert. So there was an interview with Hermann Goring. And this is what he said. Listen to what he said. Of course. The people don't want war. But after all, it's the leaders of the country who determine the policy. And it's always, always a simple matter to drag the people along, whether it's a democracy, a fascist uh, dictatorship, or a parliament, or even a communist dictatorship. Voice or no voice, the people can always be brought to the bidding of the leaders. And it goes on. That's easy. <clears throat> All you have to do is tell them they are being attacked and denounce the pacifists for lack of patriotism and exposing the country to greater danger. <laughs> and isn't that basically exactly what has taken place in our society, in our world today? Seriously. Like, seriously, think about it. Really, truly think about it. We are like sheep being led to the slaughter. Oh, wait. Yeah, we're not allowed to eat lamb anymore. We're not allowed to eat beef anymore. We got to grow it in a lab. See you on my next video. The good Lord be willing. Read your history books.